hi, Ann, Jean. I'm Diane Rowden, Hernando County Commissioner, and we're out here today at your farm. It's a blackberry farm. Mm -hmm. You pick them. And maybe you can tell us a little bit what the, your name of your company is and your names and tell us what we um, have to expect here in Hernando County. Okay. Um, I'm Ann Altman. <clears throat> I'm Ann Altman, and uh, the name of our farm is Bramble Creek Farm. And we've been open for about 11 years. We have an acre and a half of uh, you pick blackberries. They're a thornless variety. Very sweet and good and uh, people come out, they pick. We have buckets for them to pick in uh, that is lined with a bag, and when they come up, we weigh them out, they take their bag and go home. Oh, well, that's great. I bet they uh, have a lot of recipes that they look to you for on that, yes. for maybe blackberry cobbler or, oh, what about yeah. blackberry wine? <laughs> yes, we have a wonderful recipe for blackberry cobbler on our website. And our website is www.bramblecreekfarmsflforida.com. The blackberry cobbler is a recipe that all southern women certainly probably know. And I actually got it from my aunt who lives in Tennessee. Lots, lots of sugar and lots of butter? Stick of butter. you got to have a stick of butter. And it better be butter. <laughs> and not, it's got to be margarine. butter, not margarine. <laughs> and it yeah. needs to be sugar, not, not a, a substitute. Now, I'm, I'm Gene Altman, and I can speak on behalf of the wine. I, I use the blackberries <laughs> to make wine. Um, I make quite a bit each year, and I also make uh, Merlots and Zinfandels and Cabernets. So we have quite a variety. Well, that's great. That's uh, And I've talked to people that um, they just can't get over of how great it is to come out here. You're right off of Hayman Road, mm -hmm. which is only probably about three or four miles off of 41 mm -hmm. um, Ayers Road. You take to Hayman Road, and yep. you're right here in beautiful Hernando County. You're mm -hmm. out here picking your own blackberries. Yep. And so explain to me when you say thornless. Okay. Well, the thornless ones, we have found um, that they have a better taste. They have fewer seeds. And they also have a better shelf life if you put them in the refrigerator. Um, they are also larger, and uh, we do like them a lot better. Well, and how about freezing uh, blackberries? They, they freeze very well. We have instructions on our website on how to freeze them. And everybody does things differently, but I like to rinse mine and then let them dry, put them on a cookie sheet, and let them freeze individually because that way I can take out however many cups I need for a, a, a cobbler. Oh, that's and, you know, I noticed when we were in your store here, your shop, as we're getting ready to pick blackberries, you have um, a um, Granny Nichols barbecue sauce. And oh, yes. Who is Granny Nichols? I'm going to let Jean talk about <laughs> Granny Nichols. That's his grandmother. Granny Nichols is my grandmother, and uh, she moved up to Oxford. Back in 19, late 40s, she and her husband, and um, her husband passed away, my grandfather, and she needed an income. So she started making this barbecue sauce. And um, she has since passed away, and my cousin Mary Lou uh, now makes the recipe, oh. and she won't give up the recipe. <laughs> so when you come to buy blackberries or to pick blackberries, mm -hmm. you can also get some of Granny Nichols' famous barbecue sauce since 1968. So and we also sell honey uh, that Al Grissom uh, supplies us, too. Oh. He is a local uh, bee man. I'm not really sure what you'd really call a bee person, but he has his own beehives, and he places the bees in various locations within the county. And uh, we sell his honey for him because it, it really is a nice addition to uh, being able to supply the blackberries for people to pick. That's great. Well, I really appreciate your time today and what I would like to do is encourage people that live in Hernando County to, I mean, we're just ending blackberry season, mm -hmm. but put it on your calendar that it starts when, again, what's the date? Late May, early June. Late May, early June. Put it on your calendar so that you can come out here and get these wonderful blackberries. Awesome. And thank you very much and thank you, Jean. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Diane. Thank you.